Where is that guy anyway? Completely pathetic he is. Well done, Harry. You won the race. I think someone might be needing your help over in the cloisters. Yes. Why is that music so fucking loud? Okay, cloisters do that big bit out where where the Hufflepuff prefix controls at night. Next to the flying courtyard. Let me just show you an example of an invisible wall. Oh no, that didn't work. Yeah, sometimes you can catch the walls at just a specific point, so you end up dying. But there are five was a. Uh, oh wait, I just remembered. You can. There's a. If we go up along here, there's some incendio braces you need to look for later. Down there is confiscated item storeroom. Right up at the top here, though, is a wizard card. See that cracked window pane? Get off your broom here, and then walk right next to it, and we get a wizard card for free. Yeah, if you light all the incendio blazers in a specific location, you'll get a wizard card for it. There are ones there, there's one at the side along there, and there are some over on that big tower over there. So that tower, not that one on the left, the one on the right, it's got some incendio braziers, and down at the boathouse, and there's a big courtyard where there's also some incendio braziers too. So if you let all of them, not all of them at once, but all of the ones at a specific location, you'll get a wizard card chest. There's also three bushes down at the lake sedge where you can get three wizard cards. I think it's three. Um, there are, and there are no chucking things as well on the roofs. So you get a wizard card from that. So there's quite a few and they increase in difficulty. And at the end of term there are broomstick races where you get wizard cards. Hello, Potter. So there's quite a large so section of areas where you can get wizard Potter, cards. And, I was really looking forward to reading an and there's also the, the, the chests cup. hanging around the whole can you help find it for me? of the buildings. If you find my copy of the Daily Prophet, can you bring it back here to me? And there's also the people you can trade with to get wizard cards. So there are plenty of locations to get wizard cards here. Yeah, this Daily Prophet thing is over by Hagrid's hut. I'm doing these now just to get them out of the way, so feel free to skip ahead several parts, because this is all I'm going to be doing. I know it seems completely boring, but I guess either way I can show you the confiscated item store. Harry descends slowly. No cutting ahead though, folks, so it's just round here on the right hand Brilliant. side. You don't get house points from doing this though, so don't worry. Yeah, the broomstick riding thingy on the roofs, that doesn't happen until the end of term for some reason. I don't even know why. Oh wait. The, the gnome throwing thingy down at the lake, it only appears at night. So you can get to easily and do that at night without having to worry about catching a prefect because there are none down there anyway. And they also appear at the end of term. And the end of term is when you can finish up collecting. I am trying for 100%, so if I get 99 cards out of 101, then don't worry. Come on, Potter, get off your broom. You found my copy of the Daily Prophet. Thanks, Harry. I think Neville could do with your help too. I saw him over by the flying lessons area. Okay, two more to go after this. So it's this another person that looks like Neville who isn't Neville, who's lost his crockery. That guy just stops for no reason. He wears oddly weird shoes. Ow! Ow! Why are you staring at me, you helpless little shit? I don't even know why he does that. That tunnel goes down to the confiscated item storeroom, so nothing there. 
Oh, this is funny. Mr. Mr. Potter. Mr. Potter. Honestly. Right. Mr. Potter. Yes. Neville is way over here for some reason. Now, what I can't understand is, right, is he's here. And I'll show you what. Oh, hello, Harry. I was practicing Why is there a capital H on hello, hello when it's not the right place to put it? Now I can't get them down from the roof. Can you help get them back for me? Right. I'll accept this guy's challenge. If you manage to get all the pieces of crockery, can you bring them back here to me, please? Right. Here's something you don't understand. Right. He's here, right? But his crockery is way over there by that tunnel. So, why did he come here? Well, why is he standing here? Why sh can't he be standing underneath the tunnel? That would seem a more logical solution. So, all you have to do is pick up all the random bits of crockery that are up here. Come on, get off the fucking room. You just have to pick them all up. They're doing very odd, dramatic movements. That's everything, that's all you need to get, I think. I'm just gonna go up a little bit just to see if there's anything else. Oh, shit. This broom is really shite in this game. Oops. Going the wrong way, of course. Yeah, there are random, if you notice, there are some random thingies. Like this, up here that thingy there. You can attack, you can depend on them for beams, but no, it's a waste of time. There's only, they're only in a few locations anyway, so don't worry about it. I mean, it would have been a lot more plausible if his figs had fallen up there. But no. And a lot of these large towers, by the way, are for gnome throwing things. You do a big, huge loop around the entire walled area. You've got all my crockery. Thanks very much, Harry. Okay, last person coming up in these mandrake drafts, and then you get the key to the confiscated item stored in, and then that'll be that bit done. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna do a couple of gnome throws after the Quidditch match, but not now. Doing it now means it gets it out of the way and then I don't have to worry about it. So here's this random Gryffindor right at the front who needs Mandrake Drafts. Hello there, Potter. I'm really desperate to collect three Mandrake Roots for Professor Sprout. The thing is, you can always have to accept their challenge before you'll, they can... The if thing. you manage to collect three Mandrake Roots, -tied. can you bring them back here to me? Uh, you have to accept their challenge. The only, prob the only problem is you have to accept their challenge before they'll act the item actually spawns. But before we continue, I'm just going to assign Flipendo because then I can Flipendo this bush for some beans and health sweets. I'm not taking the broom because that's dumb. But here's an example of the Defendo spell going a huge distance. Like so, you can see just a little white glow there. I'll annotate it. Yeah, there are three mandrake roots. There's actually more mandrake roots in here than normal. But you just need to pick three of them up. You don't gain anything for picking up more than you need. Uh, where's another one? Oh, Forbidden Forest door I haven't shown you. You only go in there once there are wizard cards in there, so you need to make sure you pick them up because then you can't get to them. Okay, another magic route. There's some more around here, so don't worry about them because you don't gain anything from picking up extras like that. So as long as you got three, you're fine. Yeah, that music stops after a while. I 
They look like they're gliding. But no, they're walking. And after this, I'll show you the confiscated item storeroom. Here's the key to the confiscated item storeroom. You'll find it just off the flying courtyard on the other side of the bridge. Thank you. I mean, give it the key as a click. And you can't, you can, you get that forever, for the duration of the game, or whenever you get it or whatnot. Some of the items, like, um, like Neville's crockery and such, they're on roofs, so you need the broomstick so sometimes it's best to wait until after you've gotten the broomstick before going to search for any of Neville's I uh, any of the items to be honest. I'm just going to attack these bushes though because if you hit them many a times you'll get a ton of beans but we don't need beans because there's the confiscated item store bean chest. So that door that was previously locked is now unlockable. Which leads into this absolute chest build room as a reward for getting all the items, I suppose. That whatever chest is that has the bigger, uh, the giant bean bag, sorry. This one. It'll open and close every time you run out of beans. A giant bean bag! And you're given a completely now I can useless. Even more beans. But you're given a completely useless bean you can't pick up. That every time you go underneath the the, num the total number of 200 beans, that middle one will close and you can open it up again. Some of that regard is a glitch, but it's really helpful. So if you're like needing a ton of beans, open them all up because then you'll because because then you can open it and get more beans again. But after you've bought everything in Frederick George's shop, then it's a waste of time. Oh fuck! I didn't mean to open that door. But it jams open, so we can just go back in. Never was a card for me. This is a completely useless room. Except for the fact that there are a ton of chests in here. With several wizard cards and a giant bean bag. I actually forgot to show you something in the entrance hall. Yes, I forgot to show you something. I should have got in the uh, another potion vial. So that's 49 cards. We're always at the halfway mark. You can only find 100 wizard cards around the the school. Um, there's only 100 wizard cards around the school. You actually need to um, go to Dumbledore at the end of the term. Or when he'll be standing outside his office after you've got a hundred wizard cards, and he can, he'll give you the hundred and one. So there's no benefit from this. Okay, here's a broomstick. Not a broomstick. This is a new brewing person. You need beans for it, though. So this is why a bean, a, a big bean bag is useful. Rules of gnome throwing: Throw gnomes through the magical hoops to score. Throwing a single gnome through one. Through more than one hoop dramatically increases the score. Beat the record to win a famous witches and wizards card. Hello, Harry. Like to throw some gnomes and beat the record? It'll cost five beans. Yeah, five beans. And the giant bean bag in this case is really helpful. And it'd be good if I actually had for ten to assign to it. Because three rings will appear, right? And each of Three no, uh, you just have to chuck gnomes through the holes. Like so. <laughs> That's gonna miss. I need to get it through a yellow ring, I think. <laughs> 